Hello there! Today we will be germinating seeds. We will be germinating different varieties to simulate the consistency of this method. Um, what I do is I use a medium called coco peat. Uh, I like this better than soil. This is soil. Uh, I like this better than garden soil because when you germinate seeds here, uh, it is easier to pull them off because coco peat is has loose cons uh, loose consistency rather than soil that gets compacted when you water soil it gets compacted it's really hard to pull off seedlings from this one so this is the better choice uh, it prevents uh, roots from breaking when you pull them off and it will be easier to transfer them to your hydroponics medium for probably a foam or still coco peat with thicker consistency now first what I did is I punched holes about half an inch from the bottom uh, I do that so that when I water uh, the seedlings water can accumulate at the bottom and it will really help in preventing the seed bed to dry out and thus uh, making sure that the seedlings survive until they are ready to be transferred now our next step of course is putting our seedlings i mean seeds <laughs> they're not yet seedlings so rule of thumb is always put seeds more than you'll need because every seed is different and they will germinate differently or they will be uh, healthier than the others some will be weaker than the others so you can have choices on which seedlings will you transfer or will you rather which seed seedlings will you keep so yeah, we get more than what we need. This is, uh, forget the name, lettuce romaine, oh, romaine lettuce. So put it here. Uh, what we do is just uh, spread it around and push it under the coco pit. Or if you can bury it, go ahead, bury it a little, a little bit. You don't need to worry about spacing you will transfer these anyway so it's okay for them to grow beside each other you'll be pulling them out anyway so no need to be OC about this so there you go just spreading it around and burying it a little not too deep just just enough for the so that they'll be covered from the light so they Seeds need darkness so to germinate. Wow, I think I took a lot. Anyway, it's no big deal. The more, the better. Just press it in. Put it in. Okay. Uh, last few. Uh, okay. There we go. I think that was more than 50. 50 or 60 I don't know that's just a rough estimate there you go see you can't see them anymore I push them below the cocoa pit now I'll be using half and half of this so I at least want a marker really rough rough marker and together with the romaine let's put some tyrol I don't know this this will be the, my first time germinating this or even planting this variety 
Ah, there you go. Wow, they're white. I think that's enough okay like what we did before kind of spread it around oh I think I got a lot I think this is more than 50 again <laughs> spread it around and kind of bury them bury them inside the cocoa pit and we'll skip forward okay now that we're done burying our seeds in the seed bed uh, of course next is we have to get them wet uh, time to bring this to the sink there we go just a little bit of water and just, just that amount a little bit wet same with this one and same with this one after you did that do that step We'll have to cover them. Ah, won't fit. There you go. Hey, I don't have a cover for this one. Wait, I'll look for a cover. There we go. After you cover them, of course, you'll have to label them so you won't forget what you have planted. And the next thing to do is bring these to the uh, darkest part of your house, probably under the sink, and we'll let it rest for rest there for three days, and we'll come back by then. Hello, guys! Since I bought really good seeds uh, in just two days, uh, they are already starting to have leaves, so. I'll be bringing them out in the morning to get their morning sun, preferably uh, at sunrise until 10 a.m. or yes, until 10 a.m. and then bringing them to shade. The rest of the seeds are still under the sink since it's, it's still early. I'll be coming back for those tomorrow. For now, let's I'll be taking this out in the sun. Okay, we are at day 3 and this is how they would look like. Uh, as you can see, they are uh, sprouting seeds. Well, <clears throat> well, don't worry if they don't sprout at the same time seeds have their own time they take when germinating uh, just keep them under the sun every morning and soon enough they'll they'll all sprout well most of them not all of them and we'll get back by then uh, I think this is the time when you'll be counting your uh, 14 days. Uh, I always give two weeks before I transplant them. If you're gonna transplant them in a hydroponics or in soil, it's the same. Give them 14 days so they will be 
adequately developed for transfer and well we can use this as a comparison video as well uh, cocoit, cocoit versus soil we have hey if you look at this we have more sprouted seeds on soil or maybe this is just the seed type uh, this is on bunching onion or negi and these are lettuces and pak choy maybe difference is probably on the type of plant well maybe we'll update this again in five days time so we can see if all the other seeds that are we call them late bloomers will sprout well look at here there's activity there so probably tomorrow they'll be as green as this one and same with this one here we are after five days as you can see more seedlings have sprouted and it doesn't stop there see there are still smaller ones coming along like here see see that so in days to come there will be more seedlings to sprout they are just late bloomers and here's a look at our soil these are bunching onion or negi and they have been growing well I won't be putting this in a hydroponic system if they will be transferred to soil uh, this is compost soil by the way and look at that there's lots of them okay now in a week all of these will be as big as these uh, these are germinated or sprouted one week ahead of this batch so <clears throat> Basically, these are six days old, and these are about yeah, 13 days old. Well, uh, about ready to transfer, so maybe I'll have time in three days. I'll be transferring these. Oh, and one final advice before ending this seed, seed germination video. Uh, it's about what how you water your seedlings. Um, Please avoid watering them overhead with sprinklers or watering pails. Ah, heavy droplets of water can break the fragile stems of your seedling. So what I do to avoid that is just use a small syringe and inject water into the cocoa pit or whatever germinating medium you have uh, same with the soil to avoid directly watering overhead so you won't break the stems of your seedlings uh, back then i have to learn this the hard way because i used to just splash water on them and I end up killing half of my seedlings so to not waste the efforts of the germination process on and the one week of waiting better take care of your seedlings when they grow stronger then you can water overhead or you can just do that after you transplant them well if you're transplanting them to a hydroponics uh, set up you won't have to water anymore <laughs> uh, with uh, in contrast with your plants in soil so again thank you for watching that's about it for our seed germination video thank you very much